Our food is being tainted by dangerous chemicals and it's making us sick. Our current agriculture system origin story involves large chemical companies, not farmers, chemists. 85% of the food that you're consuming started from a patented seed sold by a chemical corporation that was responsible for creating Agent Orange in the Vietnam War. Why are chemical companies feeding America? In 1974, the U.S. started spraying our crops with an herbicide called glyphosate. And in the early 1990s, we began to see the release of genetically modified foods into our food supply. It all seems to begin with a chemical company by the name IG Farben, the later parent company of Bayer. Farben provided the chemicals used in Nazi nerve agents and gas chambers. When the wars ended, these companies needed a market for their chemicals. If that is not alarming enough, glyphosate is produced by and distributed from China. Americans deserve a straight answer. Why does an agrochemical company own where our food comes from? Our food... So, the company she's talking about is basically Bill Gates' company, right? Bill Gates owned the majority of farms in America. He bought up all the farmland. So, right now, a lot of our food... Is compromised and we're all constantly being poisoned. If y'all not updated, New York just changed their water system. And um, I don't know if that's going to be for better or for worse. But I do know um, New York had one of the best reservoirs or water systems in America. But now they're going to change that for 2025. And like I told y'all before, there's a 2030 agenda, and then there's the Project 2025 agenda, right? Elijah Muhammad wrote a book, right? Elijah Muhammad is one of the spiritual leaders of the Nation of Islam. He wrote a book called How to Eat to Live. The book is very useful. The book has a lot of great information. And me being a Salafi Muslim, I read the book numerous times in prison. I actually ate one time a day for like three years. And it was cool. It was cool. It wasn't really bad. I didn't actually lose weight. Actually, I started gaining weight because your body will start retaining and storing food. And um, because your body is in, like, kind of like in survival mode, but your thoughts do become clearer, you become more disciplined. You're not going to just waste energy on anything because you know you know you're running on a certain type of time, right? Gluttony is one of the seven sins. We don't need to be eating five and six and seven times a day anyway. Most people eat. Five and six times a day on protocol is usually the bodybuilders, right? Because most bodybuilders, you know, they're building muscle. This is a part of their career. It's a part of their culture and their regimen, right? But um, we only need to eat once a day, people. And y'all should, like, once again, y'all should reconstruct what y'all eat. I'm not acting like fish is the tell all be all because we know the seas and the oceans is polluted with barrels, billions of barrels of oil and contamination and garbage and waste and all that too. We know our fecal matter and all of our feces and stuff that come out our toilets, we know it goes into the river or the reservoir. You know, a lot of countries now have systems, ecosystems where they can re cycle or reuse our feces for like energy or to fertilize crops and land we're aware of that also as well but um so we know fish has parasites and all type of stuff in it too but fish is better than meat people because a lot of the meat is made with 3d printers you got 3d printer meat steroided meat genetically modified meat yes we have farm raised fish but for those who know how to fish like me you could always go up to Rhode Island, Massachusetts, places where there's fresh water and where there's salt water, and you can fish yourself and get your own fish out the water, right? We know they have farm-raised fish, parasitic fish, stuff like that. But with the fish, you can kind of like, when you fillet it and comb through it, you can soak it in lime juice, lemon juice, you can... You can let it like, you know, you could kind of remix it to where you can eradicate any parasites that exist within it. And 
it'll still be good. But the meat is compromised. We know the vegetations is loaded with pesticides, herbicides, or, you know, different type of stuff like that, too. We know they spraying chemicals and all that all over the plants, too. But people, if we result back to fish, fruits, and vegetables, and we know a lot of the fruit is compromised, too. A lot of the fruits are seedless and stuff like that. But the good thing about fish, fruits, and vegetables, because the fish and the fruits has electrolytes and so on and so on and so on and everything in it. But all I'm saying is our own government is attacking us. We're viewed as expendable, collateral damage with cattle, everything. They got underground cities and all that, and they're loaded with real plants, the real seeds to each fruit, veggie, everything, and they're good. A lot of beans is good too, people. I don't think they're really tampering with the beans yet. You know what I'm saying? But kidney beans, black beans, llama beans, um, vegetarian beans, okra is kind of cool too. People, you have to find alternative resources. You have to switch your diet and you have to um, change how you consume. Um, for some reason, our government officials is not being arrested and they know these people is harming us. And that's because they, the, 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 the cops that's supposed to be meant to protect us, the law and everything, they work for these evil crooks. So anyway, um, <sighs> that's that. Um, y'all just got to, people, y'all got to diet more. Y'all got to just do more fasting and stuff like that. Please, people. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to focus up. Morning tonight about DNA companies and your personal information. Your DNA information can be sold and weaponized against you. The alarm being sounded. Listen to this. You can actually take someone's DNA, take you know their their medical profile, and you can target a biological weapon that will that will kill that person. And people will very rapidly spit into a cup and send it into 23andMe and get really interesting data about their background. And guess what? Their DNA is now owned by a private company. It can be sold. Off. We have to have a, an open and public discussion about what does the protection of healthcare information, DNA information, and, and your data look like because that uh, data is actually going to be procured and collected by our adversaries for the development of these systems. Morning. So, like I always tell y'all, we under like 12 attacks at one time. We under biological attack, psychological attack, spiritual attack, emotional attack, economic attack. Genetic attacks. We under all type of layers attack, right? So it's like it's like fighting fifteen people, and it's just you. It ain't a one on one people. And y'all gotta stay informed, and y'all gotta educate yourselves, and y'all gotta find a way. So don't get me wrong; it's it's inevitable, right? Death is inevitable, and we can't dodge all the bullets. We you you have to. It's up to you to be responsible. And you have to strive to minimize how many bullets hit you. I just came from Barnes & Noble's early. I just ordered three books. They'll be shipped to my house in the next six days. When I get them, I'll show you what books I ordered. You know, but um, this was my week to go to Barnes & Noble's. I try to go to Barnes & Noble's every two to three weeks and order books. Because in the future, books be, books will be worth a lot. And they will be, um, you will be able to barter with books. Books, guns, gold, coins, gold bars, and all that. Gold, silver, books, weapons. Those are four ways to be able to barter. Good ways to be able to barter. And if you got seeds, seeds to beans, like llama bean seeds, all type of seeds. Seeds is good to barter. And if you got, um, if you got livestock, animals, chickens, goats, you'll be able to barter that too. But when the economy goes, um, when everything crashes... And they reset the grid, right? When the grid crashes, you got to um, find a way to have some type of currency. Because if you don't know how to forage and live off the plants and the trees and the wild and the wilderness, you're going to starve because all the supermarkets is going to be raided. Like the first two weeks, them shits is going to be crashed out, empty, finished. And you're going to be scavenging for whatever's left. Right, so our own government is tampering with our genetics too. That's why I never did Ancestry.com or whatever or none of that. I all I, I could trace back to my great great grandmother and my great great grandfather, 
which was born, my great-great-grandmother was born in 1901. My great-great-grandfather was born in 1896, 1896, 1898, something like that. I wanted to go further back, but I'm not going to do it because they're not going to have me on their radar system. They ain't, they're not going to have Lord Iron on their radar system. I tried to get one of my aunts or, or family members to do it. And they acting like they don't want to do it, and 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 they're not going to be on the front line when this war going. They're not going to be active like I am in the battlefield. So being that you already know you're, um, you have incapabilities to fight the war because you're going to put it in Jesus' hands, and you're going to let him fight for you, even though he ain't fight for himself. When the Romans put the thorns around his head and knelt him to the cross, allegedly, according to the story that everybody believes in, right? So. You should take one for the team and then um, do the Ancestry.com thing so we could just find out. So we could just get to 1850. I just want to get the 1850 order. Just the 1800s. And then I could take everything from there because I'm so well versed in history. I know where to go after that. Right? But I have cousins and stuff who, you know, they elders gave them information and I've just been connecting the dots. Right, so anyway, that's that. I'm not doing no DNA, um, nothing because they ain't gonna have Lord Iron's DNA on the radar, <laughs> right? So, anyway, this is the last thing I wanted to address, and I'm gonna try to touch on it fast. So that's Esso and Heineken. I never met Esso personally. I met Heineken. I knew Heineken for a few years through battle rap and meeting him at events and running into him and chopping it up with him. Me and Heineken have a little rapport. Heineken is of Haitian descent. I'm of ha I'm half Haitian. I'm of Haitian descent on my mother's side or whatever. But um, sometimes what people say about others really reflect on themselves, right? If if Heineken and Esso was in a federal prison, especially if they was going to ADX, the Maxi Max where, where, where Pistol Pete and all of that and where Diddy might go, 9 out of 10, Esso and Heineken are trying to turn Muslim, right? So people tell you what's on their mind in, in, in a joking frame, in a joking form, and they talking about others. But them two are turned Muslim, right? Now, let me tell you about this, about being Muslim in prison. It ain't what everybody think like it's protection and all that. Don't get it twisted. Did he can pay the Muslims to protect him? But him turning Muslim and thinking he's going to be protected, that's kind of like a no-no because the way it works in jail is this. If I'm Muslim and I got beef with a blood dude or something like that or a crip or whatever, they're not going to fight my battles. What they will do is they'll give me a laser. They'll give me a bone crusher or a razor or something. Be like, I ain't, you know, I ain't going to handle your handle. You know what I'm saying? Or they do it honorably, and the Muslims and the Bloods will get together, and they be like, yo, they could shoot a one-on-one, -on -one, or they could go raise it, or raise a gun to gun, or whatever. But their people is not going to hold your hand and fight your battles and man up for you. The only way they would do that is if you're like a strict deening Muslim, they know you don't get in no trouble, you praying five times a day, you're not gambling, you're not juggling, you're not fucking with no porn books, you're not in front of the TV, you ain't no gossiper, you ain't no chatty patty, you a sincere dean and Muslim, and they know you're not tough, then yeah, the ox will hold you down and make sure nothing happens to you or whatever. Diddy, they're not going to let him come under the fold because he's going to be locked up for multiple rapes, pedophilia, and all type of demonic, deviant sexual activities. So the oxes and the feds ain't having that, especially not in the Maxi Max, Stone Cold Killers, who's also, not only are they Muslim, they're running on protocol. They're running on integrity, street integrity, jail, prison protocol, and niggas don't jack rapos and pedophiles. Niggas don't jack that. So he's doomed. He will not be able to turn Muslim, Mr. Esso. You know what I'm saying? This man will not be able to turn Muslim. 
I'm going to do a part two on that because it's 15 minutes. I'm going to stop at 15 minutes.